This is Eugene Panrichwich. <clears throat> I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP EliteBook 8560P laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a screen on an HP EliteBook 8560P laptop. Before we do anything to make the laptop safe to work now, we want to remove the battery. And the battery is on the bottom. And what you do, there's two levers on the bottom. We slide them outward. One and two. And if we're lucky, we can remove the battery. And we are lucky and we remove the battery. Now these, I noticed, are a little bit harder to slide. So just a warning, but it is possible to remove the battery. Okay, now that the battery is out, we flip the laptop back over, open it up, and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have two screws at the bottom that we have to remove, and they're hiding behind some rubber covers that we also are going to remove. Okay, before we go any further, I'll show you the tools that we're going to need. We have a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. Just in case, we have a smaller PH0 bit, but we probably won't be using it. We also have a pair of metal tweezers. And we're, using, we're going to use that to remove screws that are stuck. And also an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. And we use that manually to remove the rubber covers. OK, let's get started. So first, we're going to remove the rubber covers on the bottom of each side. One and two. And I like to adhere them to the side next to the screws so we don't lose them. And then we remove the two screws at the bottom. So there's one. And we use our tweezers to remove the screw. And for each set of screws, I like to have a separate pile for them. And I put the piles in the order that I remove them. And that makes it easier for me to keep track of the screws when we put the laptop back together. So that's two screws. OK, next we're going to remove the screen bezel. And the way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the bezel up and listen for snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's a good thing. So that means we're moving along. And if you get stuck at a place, just go to a different place and come back to that place later and just work your way around the screen. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's easy. It just depends on the laptop computer. And sometimes even the same laptop computer can need to be hard or easy. So just take your time on this and try not to rush it. And we have to do the same thing at the bottom. Carefully snap it off, and the bezel comes off. So we put the bezel to the side. OK, for this type of screen, the screen is mounted to some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side of the screen. And we have to get to the screws on the side of the screen to remove the screen from the screen assembly. And the way I like to do that is to be able to tilt the screen forward a little bit from the rest of the screen assembly. And the way we do that is we remove some screws and possibly loosen some screws. So first, let's remove the two screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back, to the top of the metal mounting brackets to the screen assembly, like so. And once again, put them in a separate pile. 
and then try to tilt the screen assembly forward. Once we do that, we can tilt it a little bit. We can get maybe to the top screw that's holding the screen, but not to the bottom screws. So for that, I have a trick. Well, actually, we're not even going to need a trick for this because I think the metal mounting brackets can come off with the screen. So there's two screws down here. So we remove the two screws down here. And we'll see if my guess is right. So yeah, the whole the metal mounting brackets come off with the screen. So this makes it a little bit easier for us. So we remove the two screws down here. Let's get a close up. See this one and this one. So we remove those two screws also. And what I'm seeing right away is that the back of the screen assembly might want to just fall back. So we want to have a way to secure the back of the screen assembly. So maybe just lean it against something. And then we tilt the screen down. Okay, so let's get a closer look. All right, the, this is the video cable, the cable that connects to the screen to the rest of the computer. And we want to loosen up the video cable a little bit so we have more room to work with. So we want to take it out, a piece of it, just enough for us to work with it. So take it out just a little bit, just enough for it to reach it. And then we can remove the connector. So this type of LED screen, it's this type of LED screen has a connector on the bottom left. So we're going to remove the connector. And in order to remove the connector, we need to remove the adhesive tape that's holding the top of the connector, like so. OK, we remove this adhesive tape. And be careful not to damage the connector. The screen itself we don't care as much about because we're going to replace it. But we don't want to damage the connector because the video cable is a lot harder to replace and it's hard to find also. Okay, so once we remove the adhesive tape, we can just pull the connector out like so. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in because that's the place I see people have the most trouble in. So when you put the connector back in, you will feel and not hear two clicks. That means the connector is properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of what the connector is supposed to look like when it's properly seated. OK, so let's get a good focus. There, there's a good focus. OK, so what we see here is that the Actually, this was not connected properly. OK, now it's connected properly. What we see here is that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connector, connection are flush with each other. So this was the properly connected connector. Should it look like? So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this when you connect it. OK, next. We're going to take the connector back out again and take a look at the screen. OK, so this screen is a little bit unusual. And uh, I do not think all 8560p laptops have this screen, but this is a higher resolution screen than a standard screen. This screen is called a HD plus screen. The standard resolution for a 15.6 inch screen is 1366 by 768. This is one step higher. This is 1600 by 900 resolution, but it's not a full HD screen, which is 1920 by 1080. So it's somewhere between a regular resolution screen and a full HD resolution screen. And this resolution is called HD plus. So now let's take a look at the part number. And the part number for this screen is B156 
RW01B156 RW01. So this is the screen that you have to look for. Now, uh, if you do want a regular resolution screen, that's a lot easier to find. But if you want the same resolution screen that you're replacing with, you need to look for this. And uh, if you want, we don't have this screen in stock as of yet. We may in the future, but we will definitely help you find the screen. So what you do is you go to screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, there will be a link that says buy a screen. And then there will be short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and your email. And then we'll get back to you with email, either with a source for the screen or if we have it, we'll give you our pricing for it. And if you do get it from us, what we do give you is a compatibility guarantee and also free email technical support if something happens to your screen. And also uh, we ship worldwide from the United States. Okay. And the other thing to notice about this screen is it has a matte finish. It has a kind of a rough finish, not the standard glossy finish that most laptops have. So uh, if you specifically want this type of finish on the surface, you need to specify a matte finish because otherwise, most likely, you'll get a glossy finish for your screen. OK, once you do have your new screen in, what you need to do is take off these metal mounting brackets. They're secured by two screws on each side. Take these off and line up your new screen on top. Put your new screen on top and put these metal mounting brackets on the new screen. Once you do that, uh, make the connection with the connector and put the screen on and put the screws in like I showed you when I was taking it off. Then snap the screen bezel back on and put the two screws on at the bottom back on and the two screw covers and you should be done and you should be good to go. So once again, um, the assembly, the procedure to take it off and put it on is not that difficult. The difficult part is finding the right screen for it. Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurges.com. Thank you very much and good luck.